I just want to get to two things. <laughs> real gotcha. thing. Two real, real thing. Real Number life. one is, <laughs> what do you think of my LeBron takes, retires to the trading deadline? I think you're out of your mind. Why? Like, why walk away? If you walk away, it's over. Like, what are you going to relax from? Like, what are you going to go do? Watch the sunset, take walks. You can do that and still not worry about the game of basketball anymore. Why should I have to give Cleveland another year if the best you can give me is Larry Nance Jr.? Hey, I'm like, I, I just think he rides it out, man. I think he, if the Cleveland Cavaliers do anything that you ask of them and tell them to do, why would you go anywhere? Why would you walk away from it? Because all the guys, are, these guys are going to fuck. He's the Pied Piper, you're saying? Yes. They love, they love LeBron. Look, he's, he's their golden child. Okay, so. He brought a championship there when they, in the, the city that desperately needed something to look like sports-wise. So you're basically saying if I'm LeBron, nobody's ever going to treat you better than Cleveland. Just. Yeah, they, everybody's going to woo you. Everybody's going to throw money at you. Everybody's going to do this. But in your heart, we're like, where's your heart? Like, where is your, like, loyalty? Where is, like, loyal to the city, loyal to the fans, eventually? I'm saying, like, you have to look at stuff like that. And I I just don't think, like, he don't need L.A. He doesn't need Philly. He doesn't need New York. Wherever he might go, he doesn't need those places. True. To win. He can win where he is, and he's proven that. And and the teams are willing to, the Cleveland Cavaliers are willing to do whatever. So you, you can't walk away from that. I don't think he can. Or why would you? Like you'll be crazy to. Michael Jordan walked away because on a high note, I'm a champion right now. Twice. Right. Like it don't get no better. I didn't three P twice. I'm at the pinnacle. I can go do something different. I can go own the wizards. Okay, I'm getting the itch again. I'm sitting around it every day. I'm getting the itch. But And then he went to the Wizards, and the team was never any good. Yeah, well, they wasn't any good before he got then. Yeah. So it wasn't like he went into a situation where they were young and up and coming and he was still in his prime. No, LeBron James, 15 years in. If he walks away now, like, and like you said, you sit out for six months to a year, whatever it is, and you still have to go try to get in shape again, basketball shape. Like you mentioned Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson, he, he, didn't, he wasn't looking to go play again. He just had to decompress from the stress. He didn't have the, from the plan and the getting in shape and all that. Like, no, I don't. I just can't see him walking away. Like, it, like it makes no sense for him to, at this point. All right, let me shift to this. Everybody likes to be right, but when they're wrong, people disappear. And everybody had Lonzo Ball after the first month as a bust. The Lakers are now seven and zero in the last seven games he's played for them. Mm-hmm. He's like a ten seven and seven guy. Kenyon, I'm sorry, but. He's the point guard of the future. I mean, I look at him and I'm like, I, I, I'm not saying he's going to be magic, but mm-hmm. you played in this league. I think the kid can play. Yeah, everybody was quick to write him off first two months of the season because, like, it's this microwave society where everything is now. It has to be fast. Listen, he has to come out and average a triple-double. He has to come out in 2010 every night. Like, no, he's not the best shooter. We know that. Yeah. It takes time to develop that. He's going to work at it. He's going to continue to get better at it. He's an unselfish basketball player, great talent, hell of an athlete. He was the best guy on the floor last night. Yeah, and he had other distractions, other things going on the first two months of the season where he couldn't get over it. His pops, his brother and them getting in trouble. There's a lot that was going on to it. Right. All this pressure on every shot I take. There's a lot going on to it. He gets hurt, get back, get the decompress, get away from him for a few games, come back like, right, I'm ready now. Now he looks <clears> – <throat> And he's playing better, and that's what it is. He – Got over maybe the rookie wall was part of it. I don't know. But he's talented. He didn't get picked the second pick in the draft for nothing. Like, that's my thing. He's a talent, and people was quick, so quick to expect him to be J. Kidd year seven. Like, no, get a kid four or five years, and then see what he is. Then you can critique him and, and say w- what he is or what he isn't at this point. Think about this. Think how great Kobe Bryant was. He averaged seven points a game his rookie year, and he was only one year younger than Lonzo Ball. And yeah. Kobe's one of the great offensive players in the last 75 years of this in league. In the history of this game, period. And, and he was, in fact, even in Kobe's second year, he was incredibly raw. Yeah, and it takes time. And he's getting more valuable playing time than probably Kobe did as a rookie. I'm so Kobe didn't get that much playing time. He's on the court. He's getting experience with the ball in his hand, making plays, and they – they got young guys around, they're making trades, and they're trying to get pieces to fit what he does well, which I get. 
but it, it, like, it's all these critics and people that's never played the game has something to say on how well he was playing. He, or, he was last night as they beat Miami. He Luke Walton said afterwards he was the best player on the floor. He had six steals. Yeah, he was a really he's, good he's player. Like, he's a he's a good player. Yeah, he's a good player. When there's that much pressure and people expect you to be, he's a Laker. His yeah, dad. You're playing in Laker. Yeah, it's a lot, lot going on too. Like I, I've been saying it for a long time, let whether he can play or not be the narrative. And right now, he's developing to making that be the narrative. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.